if you've been following my YouTube channel for very long, you'll know that I love to use my CNC machines to make jigs, fixtures, tools, all kinds of useful things that I can use around the shop. And one of my favorite things that I've made over the years has been a zero clearance insert for my rigid R4512 table saw. I use this thing just about every day. I made this on the CNC and you can see it's got a big groove right here and the reason for that groove is uh, if I've, I watched other videos uh, on YouTube uh, showing guy, you know, guys would show how to make this out of like half inch MDF or half inch plywood and if they weren't doing it with a CNC and putting this in here because the blade sticks up uh, real close to uh, you know the top here when it's in the lowest position it interferes with that so their solution was to take this blade off put a seven and a quarter inch blade on put the insert on raise it up to get the cut started then take it off swap the blade and put it on there well I eliminated that by putting this little slot in here because here's one that I just made and you can see it's got the slot hasn't even been cut yet and it will go right on there um, with the blade still on it and I've got the holes lined up where you can reach all the little adjusting screws you can see here uh, all, the, all the little screws so this worked out really nice now one thing I wanted to make today is because uh, I want to start doing a bunch of segmented turning and open segmented turning so I needed something that would uh, have the segment slide off. I've always had to just kind of stop and wait for the saw to stop spinning and remove the segment. So I made this with this little uh, wedge of wood here. I don't even know what angle that is. Uh, 45 I think. But uh, anyway, I just glued that on here and here's a little clip to show you how I how I made that. First I'm going to remove the old clip, uh, zero clearance insert and then make sure the blade is forward all the way. Put this one in place and I'm going to kind of tweak the uh, adjustment screws a little bit to try to get it down flush with the tabletop. Next I'm going to set my wedgie sled in place and uh, slide it up to uh, where the blade would come out. And I'm going to take that little wedge and I'm going to butt it right up next to the wedgie sled and then I'll be gluing that down and then raising the blade up to uh, cut the hole in the insert and trim the side of that little ramp I'm making there. Okay, I'm ready to add some glue and get this thing glued down, so just going to apply a little uh, tight bond. I think that's tight bond 2, and I'm going to um, press this again uh, up against the, the wedgie sled. And of course, I got glue all over the table, but as you can see, I need to clean my table off anyway, so no big deal there. And now that I got this uh, right up in place and pressed down, making, um, being careful not to cover up the adjustment screw holes, I'm going to carefully remove the, the wedgie sled so I don't glue it to the, to the insert. And then we'll just let this thing uh, dry for a couple hours. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're going to uh, move the sled up to about a half inch or so and then slowly raise the blade up to create a zero insert uh, or zero clearance insert as well as having the little ramp there so this will be the insert that I use specifically when I use the wedgie sled. Another thing that I made today that I think is going to really make it a lot easier on me to make these uh, uh, segmented uh, segments for, for segmented turning is I made this uh, little stop before I was just using I was just using something like this I would have it clamped to my uh, my saw fence and I would move that back and forth and that worked fine but it was very difficult you'd have to try to measure between here and the saw blade and it was a lot of fiddling around trying to get just the segment just the right uh, width but with this 
I've got uh, an HTPE piece that I put double-sided tape to hold it and then put a couple screws in it so it's going to slide nice. There's not any play in it. And then I put these two blocks here and I'll show you how those work. I'm going to raise the blade up about there and when you bring this, notice how these two blocks kind of close in on one another. So when you get to this point where you're touching the blade, these two blocks are touching. So that's at basically zero. So now when you want to do your segment, let's say you wanted to do one at, uh, I don't know, an inch and a half wide. You could just set your calipers to an inch and a half, tighten that down. And then you can bring this out, put your calipers in here, and hit that, and then just snug this down. And now you've got your segments that should be an inch and a half between here. So it's a whole lot easier to try to measure it here than it is here at the, at the blade. And I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, a YouTube channel. I think the name of it is uh, Mad Nerd Woodshop. He did a design similar to this. I mean, he didn't use the CNC. So if you want to make one of these for yourself, you can go watch his video. I'll put a link down in the description for it. But he did the kind of the same thing. He had a couple of blocks. And when I saw that, I thought, man, what a cool idea. I've got to make one of those. So I'm really excited now to start doing some segmented turning now that I've got these two new uh, accessories to use along with my wedgie sleeve. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please leave me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And also, if you'd like to catch all my future videos, I try to put out a new video every Saturday morning. But if you'd like to subscribe, hit the little button down below and make sure you hit the little bell right next to it. That way you'll get notifications every time I release a new video. And if you happen to have a rigid R4512 table saw, and a CNC and you'd like to get the file so you can make your own zero clearance inserts just click on the link below and in the description and it'll take you to my website and then just click one of the email links send me an email and say hey Dave I'd like to have the files for the R4512 uh, zero clearance insert and I'll be happy to share them with you so until then thank you very much for watching